What's up everybody? Welcome back to the grow tent. As I always say, this is where all the magic happens. This is my grow tent where I grow all of my own food aeroponically all year round. I've been growing aeroponically for two years now and strawberries were the first thing I started growing. At the time I didn't know this, but when you start a strawberry plant from seed, it could take up to 12 months for it to be mature enough to even start bearing fruit. I've had a total of three grows since I've started this journey in July of 2023 and still have yet to get a strawberry. If you've been following along my aeroponic journey, my first grow, I brought some outdoor strawberries into my grow tower and I got thrips everywhere and had to get rid of all my strawberry plants. Although I attempted to start my strawberries from seed, I managed to only get one plant from seed. The rest were brought in from outdoors and that was a bad idea. I thought rinsing them in distilled water would be enough to clean off the debris and I moved them right into the grow tower where it wasn't long before I got thrips. Thrips are an extremely invasive pest that are difficult to get rid of and so as a result, I had to throw out all all the strawberry plants that were in the yellow grow tower. I was so disappointed I hadn't even got my first flower yet. At least my first grow I was able to get some seedlings from seed but my second grow I couldn't even get the seeds to germinate. Well that's not entirely true. I was able to get the seeds to germinate using the polyurethane sponges. It was keeping them alive that was the issue. I germinated over 20 strawberry seeds and only ended up with two seedlings that I was able to keep alive. The seedlings died because I didn't open the humidity dome as soon as they sprouted and got some leaves. I also had a really bad habit of overwatering the seedlings. Fast forward to my current grow, which is my third grow. I germinated about 20 strawberry seeds and only got two seedlings, one of which didn't make it, so we're only left with one. But I can't wait to show you this one strawberry plant I've got because she is thriving and doing better than any other strawberry plant I've had as of yet. I guess less is more because now that I'm down to only one plant, it is the best looking strawberry plant I have ever grown. New leaves are unfurling every day and they are a bright lush green and the plant is producing tons of runners which is what we're going to be trying to clone today. Right here is where you'll see a runner. It's pretty much a side shoot that's developed its own growth node that can actually root given the proper environment. This is a really quick way to multiply your strawberry plants. As long as your strawberry plant is healthy, it should continuously produce runners, making this task very easy. While I was checking my plant, I also discovered that I've got my first flower, which is crazy given this plant has only been here for three months. I'm so excited that my strawberry plant has its first flower and today's goal is to try to root the runners using a root ball. So these are two inch polyurethane sponges that I use sometimes to germinate my seeds. But today we're gonna use them to help us root our strawberry runner. My idea is to wrap this saturated polyurethane sponge around the strawberry runner followed by enclosing it in this root ball. This right here is a plastic root ball and I've used it once before to try to propagate a strawberry runner. If you've been following along, you know these polyurethane sponges that I use to germinate seeds. This sponge is going to ensure that the growth node stays moist while enclosed in the root ball. This two inch round plastic root ball has an opening on either end for the stems to go through. We are going to wrap the growth node in the saturated sponge and then we are going to enclose it in this plastic root ball. In my solution, I've added some distilled water with a little bit of Flora Nova Grow and a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Hopefully this will help the roots form. I'm making sure to thoroughly saturate this sponge as this is what's going to help get Get the roots to grow and offer them moisture while in the root ball. The last time I tried it, it was super successful and that was only on my first grow. So I am confident that this is going to be the quickest way to multiply our strawberry plant. I've decided to start off slow by just trying to root one runner rather than overwhelming my plant. I found the runner I want to propagate. I've removed any of the existing leaves that are in the way and we are going to get the root ball around this growth node.
The polyurethane sponge has been thoroughly saturated. I'm opening the sponge and gently placing the growth node into the opening. I'm doing my best to not damage the rest of the plant or stress it out. Now that we've successfully tucked the growth node into the saturated polyurethane sponge, it is time to encase it in our root ball. Once we've successfully rooted the runner, the idea is to cut the stem that's connecting it to the mother plant and put it in its very own net pod. And I'm gonna keep repeating the process until I get enough strawberry plants to fill one of my grow towers. I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on the progress. And if you guys are into all things indoor gardening, aeroponics, growing your own food, or just good vibes in general, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, follow me to learn more.